Hi guys, I'm not really gonna wait until anyone's on. I just wanted to give um, a quick update and let y'all know what's going on now. Uh, I spent all night with Richie at Milwaukee Providence Hospital where he was mostly sedated so that he would not have to deal with the symptoms and things that are going on. They transferred him over to um, Providence Cedar Mills so he's going by secured transport over there. Um, that's just the way they transfer patients. And I won't be able to see him until later tonight. Uh, that'll be like five or six o'clock. And then it sounds like it's a pretty short visiting window. So um, it already sounds, it's already farther, but it already sounds like it's gonna be a more intense thing for him. And I just hope that this facility will be able to give him the help that he so desperately needs because he's hurting so much right now um, and he's it's hard to kind of um, equate it but really he's fighting for his life now um, not physically but mentally and so it's been really hard for him to hold on and keep fighting, and so, um, yeah, I mean, send all the prayers and support and hugs and positive vibes and whatever, because Richie really is, he's fighting for his life and his desire even to live or to keep going, um, just because everything that he sees and hears and everything has been so hard on him. So, um... I'll probably float that um, fundraising thing around again at some point. Um, probably start looking for work, you know, check into disability and things like that. So if anyone is like a guru at applying for all that stuff, uh, maybe send me a message and hopefully we can touch base with, um, touch base at some point. I don't know when I'll have a chance to get that all taken care of or go through paperwork and things like that. but. Um, yeah, so I'll be looking for work soon and just anything I can to help support him and there's a really big reason that I want to be really public about this. First of all, because I definitely need support, but second, because I am not alone and Richie is not the first person to ever go through this. Our family is not going through a unique situation. Things like this happen way too often um, and people go through it alone. And thankfully I'm not alone, but as I sat there, I remembered and just thought about how many people go through it alone because they either don't have support or they don't feel like they can reach out. And so I just hope that um, by being real public about this and sharing what we're going through and what this journey is like, that it would give courage to the people who um, are going through this kind of a thing to reach out and find support and that there is hope and that the story doesn't end um, you know, with this diagnosis or it doesn't end with a hospitalization. Um, and not only that, but um, to help you guys all know what you can do to not just support me, but if there are other people in your life that end up going through stuff like this, um, to help you guys know better how to support and be there for your loved ones in times of crisis and things like this, because um, mental health definitely is something that does not get the airtime or support that it needs and um, not only that like people don't like to talk about it because it's embarrassing but I mean it's stupid because you wouldn't be embarrassed if you had cancer you'd just be like I have cancer it's not my fault well it's not your fault if you have mental illness either um, so you know and, and that could be a lot of things it could be PTSD it could be anxiety. There's so many different things where it's like, it's not your fault and it's totally okay to not be okay. Um, so really, um, I'm 
pretty open about talking stuff, so um, I will try to respond to messages and things like that as much as I can. Uh, just like you guys don't always have the words to say, I don't always have the words to say, but I've heard a bunch of stories that have been messaged to me about people who are going through similar times or um, just sharing their um, past journeys through really difficult things and those things mean a lot to me because I know that it's hard to talk about painful stuff and that you're willing to go there with me and share what's going on in your hearts um, and the things that you've been through. Uh, they mean a lot because, um, you know, probably not an identical situation to me, but there is hope and that there is a future and, you know, no matter what we're going through, community and holding on to each other and being there for each other is so important. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep updating as much as I can and answering questions um, and just reaching out. I don't know yet all what we need as far as help and things like that goes, um, but I will keep asking and you guys just keep loving us and um, of course and cheering us on. Uh, I will go home and spend some time with my babies and my sister until I get to see my husband again. Love you guys.